Welcome to the end of the world. For the past seven days, Ali and I have been exploring the city and surrounding areas of Ushuaia, Argentina, which is Argentina's most southern city, as well as the most southern city in the entire world. And in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down how to get to Ushuaia, why it's such a special place, and then what to actually do in and around Ushuaia. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more hidden adventures, not just in Argentina, but all over the world. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get to it. Ushuaia is located at the southernmost tip of Argentina in the Tierra del Fuego province and is the city that is closest to Antarctica, which make it a very popular destination and stopping point for Antarctic cruises. And the easiest way to get to Ushuaia is via flight through Buenos Aires, which is the capital of Argentina. And the total flight from Buenos Aires to Ushuaia is about three and a half hours. Ushuaia's population is about 57,000. And the city itself is very cool, chill, relaxed, very interesting. But what makes Ushuaia really special is not as much the city itself, but more of these very unique destinations and places fairly close to the city. The first activity to consider in Ushuaia is Train Fin del Mundo, or End of the World Train. This is a train station and route that was built by and then used by prisoners to cut down and export timber, which has now been converted into this local activity. It's about a 20 minute drive from the city center of Ushuaia. There's a couple different options. So option number one is sort of the regular class, which is just this kind of standard cart that holds four people and that is 4,900 Argentinian pesos plus 2,100 pesos that you need to pay to enter the Tierra del Fuego National Park, which I'll talk about in a second, which comes to a total 64 US dollars for us, or you can upgrade to the premium class, which is basically a larger cart that they also serve food, and this is 11,600 Argentine pesos plus the entry fee, which currently comes to about $125 for that option. But Ali and I chose the standard, which is really wonderful. You can pay your tickets there in cash at the actual location. And there's various times throughout the day that you can go. So you kind of go online, see when there's availability and figure out kind of which time of the day you wanna go. And basically you take this slow scenic train ride through the Tierra del Fuego National Park, learn a little bit more about the history of the prisoners that kind of built this, about the exploration of the area, some of the different wildlife, and take in some incredible views along the way. Really, really beautiful. The train is kind of this out and back track. So at the halfway point, basically when you're turning around, depending if you kind of get to the train a little bit earlier, you can actually have some time to get off for the next coming train. And right there at the end, there's actually not too long of a hike you get to another really iconic spot, which is the post office at the end of the world. I know everything's named end of the world here. And it's this really, really cool, fully functional post office that people are still using, which is just a really cool, beautiful area. The structure itself is really neat as well. And then inside, you can actually you know, buy postcards or some other souvenirs and even get your passport stamped you know, to show that you actually officially did make it to the end of the world. And then from there, you can just kind of head back to the next available train, go back to the station, enjoy the rest of the views, would highly recommend. Now, if you're looking for a little bit more of action and activity, then consider visiting Laguna Esmeralda. So Laguna Esmeralda is this beautiful crystal teal glacier lake that the trailhead for this lake is about a 25 minute drive from the city center of Ushuaia, so really not too far. And in terms of the effort to get from kind of the trailhead to the actual lake is less than three miles and fairly moderate. The only thing that I will say is the trail is a little bit muddy if it's just rained, which it was for us. So just kind of keep that in mind, make sure you bring some proper boots. And in terms of the actual hike, fairly moderate and extremely beautiful all along the way. Meadows and forests and mountains all around you. And then of course, once you actually get to the end to Laguna Esmeralda itself, it is worth all of the effort. It's just some special aura about this place that I just love and absolutely, absolutely love so much and is definitely worth putting on your list. And last, but certainly not least, we move a bit further outside of Ushuaia to Isla Martillo or Martillo Island. And what makes this island special? Well, it is best known for its Magellanic and Gentoo penguin colonies, which congregate here between September and mid-March. And in terms of getting to the island, you will need to use an agency to get there. 
And what a lot of people don't know is there's only one agency in Ushuaia that can actually take you on to the island itself. And this tour is the one that we used, which is Pira Tour. You know, we're not affiliated with them at all. It's just based on all of our research and talking where most tours will either take you on a boat, just kind of around the island to where you can kind of see the penguins there in the distance. Other tours, the boat will actually stop on the island, but you can't get off of the boat. So the total cost for this excursion, which I'll talk to you about, is about 15,000 Argentine pesos per person, which currently comes to about 140 US dollars. For us, it was completely worth it. So once you pay and you meet your group there at the city center, from there, you all get into a van and drive for about two hours to the bone house or basically this area where they take whale carcasses, clean them off and keep these bones for research as well as to share a little bit more about the sea life. So you spend a little bit of time there and then head over to the dock. And from there, you all get in this fairly small boat and it's a very fast kind of boat ride out to the island itself. Once you land there on the island, your guide basically literally takes you around the island slowly, not to scare the penguins, and you get literally within arm's reach so close of these penguins, it's incredible. And even this one couple that we made friends with there uh, on the island, one of the penguins actually was like nipping at her boots. So it's just crazy how close that we were able to get and we're so happy we were able to check off penguins on our bucket list. And the last thing that I'll mention about the actual city of Ushuaia is Ali and I were really surprised by how accommodating it is. We were kind of expecting this small, middle of the nowhere town, right at the edge of the world. And obviously in a way it is, it is smaller than Buenos Aires and all that. However, there are still a lot of really great Airbnb and hotel options. And for us, on the last day that we were there, we actually discovered this cafe that had plenty of room, a ton of outlets and really solid Wi-Fi. I mean, it was pretty much like a co-working space that, you know, a lot of people don't know about, but regardless, you're just looking for an awesome, really cool getaway destination and experience that you can brag to all your friends and family about. Ushuaia is the place for you. We hope you liked the video today. And if you did, consider hitting that subscribe button right there on your screen to not miss out on all of these beautiful adventures, not just through Argentina, but all over the world. And if you know of a friend who's considering coming to Ushuaia or has never heard of Ushuaia in their life, be a good friend and share this video with them. And as always, thank you so much for watching and your support. God bless. And we look forward to seeing you on the next adventure. And until then, adios amigos.